This is a very quick overview of uh, PowerDirector 14. It's a video editing application. Uh, the entry level is fairly inexpensive, about $70, and it goes up in various editions right up to about $300 for a suite of video image and audio editing applications. Now it works as most other video editors do. You have tracks down here and you can drag and drop clips that you've pre-recorded onto the track. Uh, you can see that the waveform is shown underneath the video clip. That's the audio that's recorded. I can have transitions so I can move one clip over another and add a crossfade or some other sort of transition. There's a whole load of fancy transitions up here and you can see that I can just drop one in onto this video and then I can preview it up here. So that's the way that it basically works. There are all sorts of effects up here that you can apply. The workspace is divided into capture and from capture you can capture video or audio from a microphone or from a connected camera or a webcam and you can record the screen too which I'll show in a moment. Uh, produce is where you produce the end video. There's all sorts of different formats here and for some formats they've got very fast video rendering and the speed of, of rendering from PowerDirector really is very very good. The main interface area for most of the time though when you're creating your movie is in the edit area and as I said you can drag and drop on here and you can also then select clips and you can apply various tools for example to modify the clip by adding reflections, shadows and so on. Um, you can let's just cancel this, don't want to save that. So you can also uh, select various tools up here such as the motion tracker. So with a motion tracker this is a new feature you can highlight, for example, a face and you can apply text if I wanted to label a character in a, in a film that uh, the label would move around or a video clip or an image or I can put one of two effects, a mosaic effect. Now a mosaic effect is, as you can see up here, it blurs out the image and if you wanted to blur out somebody, if it's a sensitive uh, some sensitive information, a document, or or a person that didn't you didn't want to be recognisable, you could use the mosaic effect, and then as the the clip progresses, the the uh, effect tracks the movement of the person, or you can add a spotlight effect. Now there are only those two effects at the moment. I'm told that Cyberlink will be adding more effects later, uh, but as I said, there are also uh, other abilities such as, for example, the ability to add text. Uh, move that to text object. So I put my name in here, and you can see that the name uh, appears alongside. And as I move, the the name follows me. So that's one of the, the new features. Another new feature is this action camera center. This is uh, somewhere where that groups together a number of features that are particularly useful if you're doing, for example, GoPro filming of action sequences. This includes lens correction. So, for example cameras such as GoPro often have a very wide angle or fisheye effect and you can smooth that out to make it look like a more normal lens by picking the maker of the camera and it applies automatically a lens correction. Uh, you can also apply slow motion effects, for example you can create a time shift somewhere on the um, clip that you're editing and then adjust the speed of a particular marked block apply speed effect here, slow it down, or apply reversal, um, and you can also put in a freeze frame effects, and then let's have a look at this played back, you can see a simple reversal and slow motion. This is particularly affected, effective when you're using 120 frames per second for very smooth slow motion. PowerDirector has a couple of ways of automatically synchronizing audio recorded from two sources. For example, if you've got two cameras or if you record with a camera and then you substitute better quality audio that you've recorded separately with a microphone, it can automate that process. One of the things I don't like though is that it makes it hard to sync up two waveforms just by sight because if I drag a waveform here, you can see that the waveform is not live, the actual picture is not live as I'm dragging. So if I wanted to do a rough alignment uh, visually, then that makes it quite hard work. 
In higher level editions, there's a really interesting uh, ability that you can apply from the audio editing application, audio director. Let's assume that you've recorded a video and the sound quality really isn't very good, maybe the microphone wasn't very good, or you've recorded it in a noisy background. You can hear that, for example, in this video. It was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents, except at occasional intervals when it was Now, by a violent I don't really want to record the entire video all over again. I just want better audio. So what I've done is I've re-recorded an audio track and then I've told Audio Director to synchronize the new audio with the original video. So it compares the waveforms and it puts the new audio track uh, so that it looks that I'm actually speaking it. My lips appear to, to move in time with the new audio and that's a real time saver. And just compare the old audio and the re-recorded audio over the original video. It was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents. Except at occasional intervals, when it was checked by a violent gust of wind. And one final tool that really needs to be mentioned, and this is in all editions of PowerDirector, is the new screen recording tool. Now, many people, when they need to record and edit videos, and they also need to incorporate things recorded from screen, are forced to buy two programs, a video editing program, such as PowerDirector, and then a separate screencasting program such as Camtasia. Well, with this screen recorder tool, you can do it all using PowerDirector. You can record the whole screen. You can record, um, you can lock it to an application, a specific window, or you can define a particular area. So here I've got a, an area of screen uh, that's defined uh, to a certain size. And there are various settings to record uh, voice and save in mp4 or wmv format and so on so you just click to record and you can start uh, there's a countdown and then you can start recording whatever happens on the screen so again that's a valuable tool for anybody who needs to incorporate screencasts in their videos